Hello, my name is Ian Dean. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the tools that have been added to MeshBaker that make uh, baking very large scenes a little easier. Uh, so let's look at this Angry Bots scene. There's, I think, about 2,600 separate meshes in this scene. So it would be a lot of work to, to bake this scene to go through and, and find the various objects using different shaders and, and group those together. Um, is there an easier way? So uh, let's look at some of the tools that make this manageable. So first we create a mesh baker object because it allows us to access those tools. I click on it and the first thing I want to do is run this report open to this list shaders in scene report. So what this does is it crawls through the entire scene finding every mesh and tells us what material, what shader it uses. It also analyzes the meshes and um, uh, looks for things that might cause problems with baking. So here's the report. It's a far too large to look at in here. It's designed to be copy and pasted into a spreadsheet. So if we come over here, I've already copy and pasted it in. So if you look at it, you can see um, it's organized this by shader. And so here's the diffuse shader. These are the objects that use it. it tells us what light map those objects are on, whether those objects are static or not, whether they have overlapping submeshes, out of bound view UVs, multiple materials, what material they use, and any warnings that MeshBaker generates that means that MeshBaker might find this hard. So for here's an example, Cliff Rock, this has UVs outside the range, which is basically tiling. Um, so MeshBaker can only include that with other objects. These are all on um, a, a uh, light map, use the same light map, but um, there are objects that use different light map. Now this report has is basically organized into objects that would bake well together. So that begs the question, well, if MeshBaker can already organize my objects into objects that would bake well together, can it automatically generate the mesh bakers and configure those for me? And the answer is yes, it can. So that's what this auto generate bakers tool does. So if I look at the tools, uh, the first thing I have to do is pick a folder where all the combined material and the uh, generated result materials are going to go. So let's pick that folder. Uh, then included objects must be static. Um, so in this, that, that works very well on a scene like this where Unity has been good about flagging the ob static objects. Um, so we won't pick up the dynamic ones. Uh, light mapping, in this case, let's preserve the light mapping. And then I can just click Generate Bakers. So Mesh Baker is, is crawling through the scene, basically doing the same thing it did when it generated the report, except this time it's actually creating Mesh Bakers. It's creating the combined material assets and the result material. And it's configuring the, um, the result the settings on the result material assets, the sh picking the shader and such. It, it takes, you know, on a big scene like this, it'll take 30 seconds or so. Um, and it pays attention to things like light, in this case, light mapping. Okay, so created 65 bakers, added 2,979 objects. So you can see those bakers here in the scene. And um, I can flick through those and see essentially what it's created. So um, in a, a real world case, I would probably look through these. There are some bakers in here that I probably don't want. Um, I, I think uh, it probably picks it up. So then I've done that. The next step is to bake every mesh baker in scene. So there's 65 of them. This is going to take a little while. So I will um, click this and um, edit the video and come back when it's done baking. All right, removing, uh, resuming where we left off. Um, it's finished baking. It took about 15 minutes to bake all those textures together and bake all the meshes. 
So if we look, you can see what it's created. There's all these um, combined mesh objects in the scene. Um, about roughly 65 of them. So if we select all those and move them over, you'll be able to see... Ah! what's happened. Um, now one of these is, um, if you're wondering what this black thing is, it's one of the combined meshes here and I believe it's a, coll it's a collider. Um, and so if I delete that one out, there. So as you can see, it's um, it's pretty good. There's the um, you know the original on the right and the new one on the left. So it's taken about two thousand and nine hundred or so meshes and combined and reduced them to sixty five. Um, now I'd have to go through this in some detail to actually check that uh, things are actually correct, but. Uh, at first glance, things look pretty good, and it's actually preserved the light mapping. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you. Anyway, good luck, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, email me, and MeshMaker is available through the Asset Store, as well as through Digital Opus.